It's the morning of Leicester's Got Talent and the anxious contestants arrive at the Y Theatre for their big day. Meanwhile, a certain Mr Simon, not Cal, but Cole, Chief Constable of Leicestershire Police, is busy doing a sound check. Wise men say only fools rush. Can't do that now. The event is now in its third year and attracts people from all over the county. The competition was even tougher this year because the winners in each category now had the opportunity to audition for ITV's Britain's Got Talent. Don't get my hopes high, but I'll just take it easy and make sure I just bring the best to the table. We do different types of dancing, actually. We do modern, contemporary, jazz, fusion and Bollywood. We want to reach somewhere, like really far, but not as in that way, but we want to teach other people what we do. It's crazily exciting and you can sense it downstairs at the moment. There's a bit of a frenzy of, well, hey, this is a great opportunity. It's also lovely to see young people from Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland who are so skillful, talented, full of energy. You know, we deal with lots of young people, sometimes in the negative sense of that. This is about a really positive day with loads of people from all over the local area joining together to celebrate what they're good at. It's fantastic. Well, the competition was open to participants aged between 16 and 25, but demand was so high that organisers decided to lower that age of entry to 13. Leicester's Got Talent is organised by Pucar News and for managing editor Ramel Gulzar, it's a labour of love. It's not about winning or losing, especially when all the winners, I can see their happy faces, the comments we get, they build their confidence and they're looking forward to next 12 months. So that means to me a lot is of course is a lot of hard effort a lot of hard work but then on the day like this when we end see all that excitement and we're building their confidence basically paid off Well, after several hours of singing and dancing it's time for the judges to put their heads together and choosing the winners was no easy task I think we've got outstanding winners today and I think they'll do Leicestershire proud when they go on to the big stage at Britain's Got Talent. It's agony. <laughs> but we'll get there and we've had some good conversations as a panel and also some uh, um, differing perspectives. It's been really good from a community as diverse as ours to take some cognizance of that. It's been very difficult because the standard this year has been so high. It's my first year of judging and I've just been absolutely blown away by the quality of what I've seen. You know, the range, the musical talent, uh, the singing talent, the dancing talent has been uh, a revelation from my point of view. While the judges deliberated, Kobinda Rai, also known as the singing policeman, took to the stage. <laughs> Finally then, the moment of truth. Winner of the, the musician category and one of our runners-up is Jordan Anderson. Jordan Anderson on the drums. Please welcome Jordan onto stage, please. And there was a total consensus among the, the judges that the best singer uh, for the talent contest today was Lydia Insumi. Lydia Insumi!
third and final category um, was the uh, dancer category. In terms of the overall runner-up in that category, because we do have an overall winner from that category, so I'll give you the overall runner-up, the Realistic Crew. Whoa, let's go. Okay, give it up for the Realistic Crew. Okay, now for the big one. There was total consensus among the judging panel. I think the audience already know the winner. It's Michael. Oh! Where is he? Where are you, Michael? Yeah, well done, Michael. Well, I didn't expect to win it because it was just last minute of performance. So I know some few amazing dancers. So I thought, and it was quite different. I thought maybe it wouldn't be the one. <laughs> I'm training to be a professional dancer at Studio Centre Nine, and I've got one more year, and then I'll be auditioning for bigger schools, and hopefully I'll be a contemporary professional dancer. That's what I'm hope, aiming to be. It was really hard, but I think Michael just blew us away. He was the last contestant, and I think we all felt the same. It was amazing. Overall competition was really great. I mean, uh, it was very strong competition. It was very hard to really, you know, judge who's going to be the winner because, according to our eyes, everyone stood out. Everyone was a winner. Well, if you miss your chance this year, you'll be pleased to hear that Pukal News will be back at the Y Theatre for another Leicester's Got Talent on the 28th of November. 2015.